One uh, very popular item online right now would be photo sticks. These are little flash drives that you pay a lot of money for and essentially plug them into the side of your computer in the USB slot and they automatically take all of the photos and videos off of your computer or sorry not take them but back them up onto that stick so the appeal is obviously it's a no-brainer it just does it all automatically for you is this the best route to go you know obviously you're paying um, a premium for this uh, over a regular flash drive uh, are there alternatives uh, john what are your thoughts well, I, I did a lot of research on this because this is something we get asked about pretty regularly. And we had a number of people write in uh, after our last segment about, you know, what about photo sticks? Because I think they're getting bombarded by ads for it uh, on Facebook and other places. And it, it does sound like on the surface, like a good idea. Um, but I couldn't find any what I would call legitimate reviews for it. I found a lot of what I call fake reviews uh, promoting the product clearly with a message like, you know, buy it from here kind of thing. And when I did find some actual reviews, they were all pretty negative. And one of the problems that it seems with the photo stick is, is that it's not compatible with all of the older machines. And so you buy this thing and it, it can be pretty expensive depending on the size that you get and where you live, because you have to pay for shipping as well, um, is that it, it won't work on an older Windows machine or an older Mac. So um, I was trying to find an alternative that would do kind of the same thing or, or very similar um, that would work on these older machines. And um, one of the challenges I've, I had is I could not find anything that, you know, was a legitimate product. I was hoping to find an open source product that someone created a script that you could just run that would copy all your stuff to a thing, uh, an external backup. Uh, and that kind of thing does exist. It's just not super easy and, and uh, approachable for the non-technical people. Um, but what I did find was something that quite surprised me, actually. It's a program called, and I'm going to spell this out because it's a kind of a, uh, a weird name, XNViewMP. So it's an image management tool, and it's available for literally every platform. You can get it for Windows, uh, old 32-bit, 64-bit, uh, Mac OS, even Linux versions of it. And what it is, is it's essentially a browser for your hard drive. And it allows you to see at a quick glance, your entire computer system uh, at the folder level. And it'll actually show you which folders have images in it. And you can click on that folder, go inside and look at those folders or photos and and, uh, and preview them in a little, little preview window. You can manage it from there. You can copy it, you can move it, you can organize it. You can categorize things. You can do a lot of things that people have been asking us. Like, I want to organize my photos. I have a lot of photos. I want to organize them. How do I do that? And this, the, the great thing about this particular tool, um, and you can get it at xnview.com. It's completely free. Um, so my recommendation would be to take the money that you were going to spend on a photo stick and buy an external hard drive that you can use for your backups and then use this tool to find all your stuff categorize, organize it, add some data, metadata to it so that you know what these photos are. Um, and people like creating albums and all that kind of stuff. And then put that backup from your computer hard drive onto this external hard drive. And it'll probably be cheaper than buying a photo stick. And you'll learn a lot in the process too. It's not completely, uh, f um, you know, a set and forget. You do need to do a little bit of uh, looking around and seeing where your photos are, but chances are your photos are probably limited to a, a handful of photo uh, folders. And this program will let you find those really quickly. And uh, the fact that it's completely free, it runs on um, pretty much every computer that you can find. And it supports just about every image type that you would have. And the nice bonus is too, it actually has a, a, a photo editor built into it. So you can actually manipulate your photos. You can do some effects and cropping and all that kind of stuff all within this app. And it's completely free. So I think that's a pretty good alternative to PhotoStick. And it's something you can download right now. You don't have to order it and wait for it to come. Uh, you don't have to overpay on shipping. Um, spend that money, go to Amazon, just buy a hard drive and uh, back up your stuff. Uh, say the name one more time, John xnview.com and the app itself is called xnviewmp 
That's a, a fantastic suggestion. Uh, another one too is that a lot of these uh, external hard drives that are available nowadays, you know, from you know the big names like Western Digital or Seagate, they typically have uh, backup software included with them uh, as well. So th- I find them pretty simple to set up. And in that backup software, you can have automatic backups happening as well. You can basically say, "Hey, I want to back up these folders." And like you said, John, your pictures are typically in um you know a select set of folders like your pictures folder for example is the main one uh if you've got a videos folder as well and you can basically point the software to you know those folders and then set up to have it back up like you know three in the morning every night uh you know or once a week or whatever you feel comfortable with and like you were saying uh you know i think you get a lot more bang for your buck you know you'd be able to spend that money on a decent you know hard drive uh, with some decent size to to get all of those uh all those pictures. 